In today's video, I'm going to showcase a project that's been a year in the making, bringing together all the tools and art assets I've been working with to create this massive interactive world map. The goal of this video and the subsequent videos in this series is to explain exactly how you can go about creating your own interactive and animated world map using some of the pre-made assets or give you some tips on how you can create your own from scratch. Instead of starting it from the beginning for this series, I thought it might be interesting to start at the end and show you what exactly we can do with these tools once they've all been combined. I'll show you what modules I've used to link all these maps together and how to add some simple animations to bring them to life. So, what I've done here is uploaded a series of scenes that will all be linked together using our world map as a hub. The world map itself has some basic animations using Tile Scroller by Ripper95 and the small floating island that I've gotten to bop up and down using After Effects and export it as a WebM. All the locations have an invisible clickable tile that is linked by using Monk's Active Tile Triggers module, which I have not just used for linking locations, but also adding minor interactive elements to make the map like this key icon that makes it possible to show and hide the names of locations on the map. When we click into Ember Hill here, you'll notice some basic animations I've made for chimney smoke and my windmills. The windmills are super easy to animate, the smoke a bit more complex, but I feel they add a lot of flavor to the map. This isometric region map is a smaller hub location that will link up a series of battle maps that players can travel to. I've animated the windmill one as a little test, and most of them will have levels included as well, another great module by Ripper95, but that's fodder for another video. Let's get into our tile triggers and quickly explain how to create your own. It's a very simple system really. All you have to do to make it work is import a tile into your scene. I made these little name cards for each of my locations. For one of my future maps I'd love to look into making buildings that you can get a little, little hover over animation for. For now I chose these name cards because they're easy to navigate without having to trace the map for links. Once we've placed our tile we simply double click it making sure the tile trigger module is active of course, and then go to the trigger section of our tile. For my tiles here, I've set them to be able to be clicked by anyone. This is easy to change if you just want the DM to be able to use the navigation or restrict certain areas. I've set it to be controlled by a simple click and finally I've chosen to opt in these options here mainly for visuals. Now that we've done our setup, let's look at uh, the actions this tile will take. It's really simple to add a new action, where the action will be to change scene and select the scene our tile needs to navigate to. The tool has so many more options and there's loads of videos to help you get a better grip. For now let's look into one more that I've used for my interactive map system here and that's my interactive key tool for my, for my world map. The setup for this tool is the same as my tiles to change scenes. The action however, toggle a tile to hide or show itself when this tile is clicked. The way I've done this is simply overlay my scene with another version of the same scene with the names on the map and then when I go into the console using F12 I can discover the actual idea of my tile by deleting it and then Ctrl Z to undo my deletion to create it again. It always gets the same tile idea so it's pretty simple to achieve. I use this technique because the selection tool in Monk's style trigger didn't always work for me. You should be able to simply click the selection tool in the module and then click the tile you'd like to refer to. 
Last but not least, let me quickly show you the layering for the scene I've built here. You can head on into the animation tab here and see tile scroll being active. You have to make sure the direction and speed is adjusted for the scale of your map of course. It's really simple to create. And I have a bunch of cloud assets myself but you can find some PNGs of clouds online, place them in a single file, the same dimension as your map, and then put the tile scroller on it to bring it to life. That's about it for this video. As mentioned, I plan on uploading videos for every subject, either including free files you can use to test it yourself, or making an additional video to show you how you can create some of your own. I sort of already made a video on building a city map in Dungeon Draft, so you can check that out if you'd like. Back then I had planned on already starting the series, but I really wasn't at the point where I'm at right now, so I decided to build all my tools first and get back to finishing up that concept when ready. Thanks for watching, until next time.